I want to say good evening, good evening to everyone as we migrate towards 2024. We're delighted and honored to be here to share words of encouragement, words of wisdom from God's holy word in the challenging times that we are in and living in. There is a rebellious conversation in the earth and a mis uh, ideology, crazy ideology in regards to who God is and uh, the, the difference between salvation and uh, sin and grace and mercy. So hopefully the, 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 what we do tonight will be uh, glorious for God and encouraging and empowering to you. We're not going to, amen, be long. We're just going to give you something to challenge your app, spiritual appetite that you'll be able and have a desire to become a God chaser and a God uh, personality and ambassador as we face uh, uh, the times that prophetic uh, uh, words of God is being prophetically uh, manifested before us. We're thankful to have a couple of people who here with us earlier today. We're going to use them as we pre-record our, 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 our watch night service. Amen. We're going to use these who are here. God bless you. We're going to have Elder Fenton to come at this time. And she's going to do our mission state for First Samuel Church Holistic Ministries. <clears throat> our vision. The vision of First Samuel Church Holistic Ministry. A church manifesting, magnifying, and glorifying God by serving mankind. Ephesians 4, verses 1 through 17. Romans 1, 1. Philippians 4, 13. Our vision. The vision of First Samuel Church Holistic Ministries is to enhance and develop the total man, regardless of race, creed, color, culture, social status, financial status, or religious beliefs, and to see all individuals and families growing and flourishing in all areas of their lives. Therefore, Christian growth is loving Elohim God completely, loving others compassionately, and loving self correctly. St. John 13, verses 34 and 35, Matthew 22, verses 37 through 40, Deuteronomy 6, verses 1 through 8. Be converted, be committed, be connected. Holistic Ministries Christian Kingdom Builders build lives for fathers, mothers, youth, families, and communities. Holistic Ministry builds lives with the word of Elohim God and His Holy Spirit through teaching, prayer, praise, worship, inreach, and outreach ministry. Holistic Ministry builds lives with the word of Elohim God and His Holy Spirit by edification, empowerment, enlightenment, enrichment, encouragement, enhancement, evangelism, thus equipping the saints for service to Elohim God. Amen.
This is a prayer litany designed Father Elohim God's clothing. Elohim God, Jesus Holy Spirit, has proven his power and victory of truthful Christians who are dressed and being dressed by and with his heavenly holy garments. Therefore, we pray prophetically that Father Elohim God dress and clothe us with Christian salvation and new birth. Father Elohim God dress clothe us with Jesus' resurrection. Father Elohim God dress clothe us with your Holy Spirit. Father Elohim God dress clothe us with your righteousness and holiness. Father Elohim God dress clothe us with your holiness, sight, and insight. Father Elohim God dress clothe us with your agape love and compassion. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your faithfulness. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your heart. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your mind. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your wisdom, holiness, and understanding. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your thinking and your thought life. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with holiness, prayer, praises, and worship in our heart, mind, and soul. Father Elohim God, dress and clothe us with Jesus' long suffering. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with Jesus' humility. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with Jesus' ministry. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us in the image of who you are. Father Elohim God, dress and clothe us with your desires. Father Elohim God, dress and clothe us with your choices. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your truth, way, and lifestyle. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your joy. Father Elohim God, dress and clothe us with your peace. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your parenting, truth, ways, and lifestyle. Father Elohim God, dress and clothe us with holiness, oneness with you, Elohim God, and Jesus Holy Spirit. Father Elohim God, dress clothe us with your holiness, attributes as we are your sons and daughters. Hallelujah and bless the name of the Lord. Amen. May we bow our heads in prayer. Father, we come before you right now, crying out unto you, saying that you are Elohim God. You are the mighty and matchless King. There is none beside you, O oh Lord. Father God, we come praying right now in the name of Jesus, Father, that as we enter into this new year, we thank you, Lord God, for 2023. And as we enter into 2024, we know, Lord God, that you are with us. Your word says, Lo, I am with you always, even until the ends of the earth, O oh God. And we just declare and we proclaim you as Lord and Savior. We thank you, Lord God for your promises, oh God. We know that the promises of God are yea and amen. We thank you, Lord God, that we can rest in your promises, oh God, as we enter into 2024, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that your word, oh God, is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We pray, oh God, that you would lead us and guide us in a straight path, oh God, as we enter into 2024, a year that we have never seen, oh God, but a year, Father God, that didn't catch you by surprise. We know, O oh God, that you have laid out the foundation, O oh God, where which we can stand, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to walk therein. Father God, we come praying, O oh God, that you would touch, Lord God, each and every person, Lord God, that is hearing my voice, Lord God, each and every person, Lord God, that is streaming, O oh God, each and every person, O oh God, that is predestined to hear, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that you would bless them with abundance, O oh God. Bless them, O oh God, with more of your spirit, O oh God. Bless them, Father God, that they can feel your presence even now, Father God. Thank you that there will be no lack, O oh God, in the promises that you have called, Lord God, for them, O oh God, and created for them, O oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are working on their behalf even now, Father. We thank you that you are turning things around for people in their situations today, O oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are healing the brokenhearted right now. That as we go into 2024, O oh God, 
God. We know that some people didn't make it, oh God. But we thank you, oh God, for the ones that did, oh God. And we pray, oh God, that you would bring peace, Lord God, to those, Father God, who may be feeling sadness, who may, oh God, be feeling loneliness, Lord God, for those, Father God, who may feel disconnected, Lord God. But we know, Lord God, that you are near to the brokenhearted, oh God. And we just thank you today, oh God. We ask, Lord God, that you would fill them to overflowing with joy and with gladness, oh God. That you would be the comfort, oh God, that each and every one of us need, Father God. As these uh, the year ends, Father God, and we walk in the new, oh God. We pray, oh God, for a fresh wind, oh God. We pray for a fresh fire, oh God. That it would burn in the hearts and minds of your people, oh God. That you, oh God, would... Lord God, allow your people to turn back to you, Father God. Father God, that you, oh God, would be in the forefront of their minds and on the tablets of their hearts, oh God. We just need you, Father, and we cannot make it without you. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for mankind everywhere, oh God. Father, we pray for salvation, oh God, to visit the hearts of your people, oh God. We pray, oh God, that men, women, boys, and girls will cry out, what must I do to be saved, oh God? We thank you, Lord God, that there is salvation in you. We thank you that there is rest in you. We thank you that there is refuge in you. We thank you that there is comfort in you, Father. Father God, everything that pertains to life and godliness is found in you, Father, and for that we say thank you. Thank you for being the remedy. Thank you, oh God, for being our our portion, oh God. Thank you for creating us in such a time as this, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that you would touch mankind everywhere, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done, Lord God, and all that you desire to do. Father God, we pray that every crooked place will be made straight, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we just pray and thank you, Lord God, for your Holy Spirit, oh God, for its desire to dwell, Lord God, in the hearts and minds of your people today, oh God. We ask, Lord God, that men, women, boys, and girls, everywhere would cry out even now, Father God, asking what must I to do to be saved. Father God, as many people are making resolutions, Father God, for this new year, we pray that their resolve would be to have a firm foundation in you. We pray, oh God, that they would resolve, Father God, that they, Lord God, need you, Father God, to dwell richly in their hearts, oh God. I pray, Lord God, that you would raise up a generation, raise up a people, Father God, that desire to serve you, Father. I pray that all those who have been trapped Lord God, by the enemy, in this or in that, oh God, in this sin or that sin, oh God, Father God would decide, Father God, and make a choice, oh God, to lay it down, Father God, and to follow you. We thank you, Lord God, for your hands, Lord God, are not too small, oh God, that you cannot save, oh God, that you cannot go and reach, Father God, those who are hurting, those who are, Father God, in turmoil, those, Father God, who don't know which way to turn, oh God. We pray, oh God, for them right now, Father God. We pray for the backslider today, oh God. We ask, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that they may get to know you, Father God, in the pardon of their sins, oh God. We thank you, Father, for all that you are and all that you're going to do. We just declare your glory, oh God. Lord God, we thank you, Father God, for this day, oh God. We thank you for allowing us to gather here Father God, allowing us to be in your presence, oh God, allowing us to feel your presence, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father. We don't, Lord God, uh, count it as so something small, Lord God, but everything pertaining to you is great, Father God. We thank you for the abundance of joy that you have, Lord God, that you're ready and willing to distribute, Father God, to those who are in need. We thank you, Lord God, for the abundance, Father God, of peace, oh God, that you have for the one, Father God, who is in turmoil. We thank Thank you for the abundance of joy that you have waiting right now for the one father god who is sad and lonely and depressed oh god we thank you lord god for your spirit oh god that is a quickening spirit oh god that lord god men women boys and girls might cry out unto you even now we love you lord and we just cannot make it without you touch lord god heal and deliver like only you can we will be forever mindful to praise you, to uplift you, to glorify you, and to magnify you. Because it's in you, Father God, that we live, move, and have our being. There is no life without you. Lord God, you are the sustainer of life. You are the creator of life. And besides you, oh God, we will not make it. Help us to cry out unto you. You said, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things. Father, we are looking for the greater. We are expecting the greater. We are living 
witnesses of greater, Father God, and how you are able, Father God, to do all things. We love you, Lord, and we cannot make it without you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray and we say thank you and hallelujah to your name. Amen. Today, hallelujah. All over the building, let us sing, y'all. Oh, yeah, you all. All I need All I need Oh yeah Oh yeah May we can stand May we stand May we all stand Love y'all we love y'all. Be blessed. Go in peace. Sing choir. Yeah. All I need. Sing, children. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Say children. Be lifted up from all men.
Christian warriors, we prophetically offer with the, this prayer praise worship litany of Psalm 46, Psalm 47, Psalm 48, and to the landscape and habitation of humanity in our church family. Christian warriors, we prophetically offer this holy word, covenant, prayer, praise, worship, litany, and to the landscape and habitation of humanity and our church family. Elohim God is our refuge and strength, mighty and impenetrable to temptation, a very present and well-proved help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change and though the mountains be shaken into the midst of the seas, Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling and tumult. Selah, pause and calmly think of that. There is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of Elohim God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Elohim God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. Elohim God will help her right early at the dawn of the morning. Christian warriors, we prophetically offer this holy word, covenant, prayer, praise, worship, litany, and to the landscape and habitation of humanity and our church family. The nations raged, the kingdoms tottered and were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Elohim God of Jacob is our refuge, our fortress and high tower. Selah, pause and calmly think of that. Come behold the works of the Lord who has wrought desolations and wonders in the earth. He makes wars to cease to the, to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow into pieces and snaps the spear in two. He burns the chariots in the fire. Let be and be still and know, recognize and understand that I am Elohim God. I will be exalted among the, na the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Elohim God of Jacob is our refuge, our high tower and stronghold. Selah, pause and calmly think of that. Christian warriors, we prophetically offer this holy word, covenant, prayer, praise, worship, litany into the landscape and habitation of humanity and our church family. Oh, clap your hands, all you, you people. Shout to Elohim God with the voice of triumph and songs of joy. For the Lord most high excites terror, awe, and dread. He is a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under, he subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the glory and pride of Jacob, whom he loves. Selah, pause and calmly think of that. Elohim God has ascended amid shouting, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Christian warriors, we prophetically offer this holy word, covenant, prayer, praise, worship, litany to the landscape and habitation of humanity in our church family. Sing praises to Elohim God, sing praises, sing praises to our king, sing praises. For Elohim God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises in a skillful song and with understanding. Elohim God reigns over the nations. Elohim God sits upon his holy throne. The princes and nobles of the peoples are gathered together, a united people for the Elohim God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to Elohim God. He is highly exalted. Christian warriors, we prophetically offer this holy word, covenant, prayer, praise, worship, litany, and to the landscape and habitation of humanity in our church family. Great is the Lord, highly to be praised in the city of our Elohim God, his holy mountain. Fair and beautiful in elevation is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, the city of David, to the northern side, Mount Moriah and the temple, the whole city of the great king. Elohim God has made himself known in her palaces as a refuge, a high tower and a stronghold. For behold, the kings assembled. They came onward and they passed away together. They looked, they were amazed. They were stricken with terror and took to flight, affrighted and dismayed. Trembling took hold of them there and pain as a woman in childbirth. With the east wind, you shattered the ships of Tarshish. Christian warriors, we prophetically offer this holy word, covenant, prayer, praise, worship, litany, to the landscape and habitation of humanity in our church family. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our Elohim God. Elohim God will establish it forever. Selah, pause and calmly think of that. 
We have thought of your steadfast love, O Elohim God, in the midst of your temple. As is your name, O Elohim God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness, rightness and justice. Let Mount Zion be glad. Let the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your righteous judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Number her towers, her lofty and noble deeds of past days. Consider well her ramparts. Go through her palaces and citadels that you may tell the next generation and cease recalling disappointments. For this Elohim God is our Elohim God forever and ever. He will be our guide and holy light even unto death. Amen.
As we enter into the year 2024, we want to remember our young people. We want to challenge young people to take their place in the church. Every Christian has his proper place in the church, regardless of his age. Your youth does not excuse you from your responsibilities, but rather it gives you an advantage in many ways. I do not challenge you to be an average Christian, but be an example of the believers. No person is too young to serve the Lord. Sometimes you may be misunderstood, but we encourage you to come together and study and apply yourselves to the charge that Timothy gave in 1 Timothy 4.12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Young people, because of your age, we want you to know it doesn't matter. Do not permit yourself to be discouraged. Take a stand, go all the way and become an example of the believers. Only you can prevent adults from despising your youth. So again, we wanna encourage you as you go into 2024, be an example. You can be an example in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Remember, you are someone special and you were created with the purpose. We pray your strength in 2024 and a stronger relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. We give thanks to Almighty God, Elohim, Creator, and Sustainer. This time we're going to have another presentation to challenge all of us, whoever you are. 
in your presentations going into 2024, we have a special word from God and what you, who you are and what you need to do in your presentation to let bring glory to self, uh, to the other uh, types of conversations that go on on Christmas, on New Year's Eve. So we're going to ask Elder Fenton to come at this time. She's going to give words of, from the creator and sustainer of life on the presentation that we should make going in 2023. chapter I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts different according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministry. Or he that teacheth on teaching. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love in honor, preferring one another. Not slowful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Bless them that persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice that them that do Rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one to another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. Giving thanks, Almighty God, we come briefly to give you words of encouragement according to the Holy Word of God, which is the only pure word and conversation we can have uh, invading in our hearts and our minds and our souls. Um, we are grateful, amen, to give you just some moments with God through his Holy Word. And many people going into 2024 are fearful of many of the things that is happening prophetically and otherwise in the earth. But we come to let you know that our God is a faithful God. He's, he's fulfilling his promises. He's fulfilling his prophecies. And he's fulfilling uh, his caretaking business to how he take care of each of us. So we want to say thank you. We're not going to be long. We just want to whet your appetite so you have a desire to eat holy bread in 2024, which, would, which is the greatest substance that you can have in your journey on planet called Earth as you occupy time before we begin to occupy eternity. Amen. Uh, we want to leave this thought with you filled and dressed with the Holy Spirit 
to run the Christian race with Christ-like faith, filled and dressed with the Holy Spirit to run the Christian race with Christ-like faith, race, amen. We walk by faith and not by sight according to the word of our God is our behavior and who we should be. I want to read a scripture to you and then we will move forward. In Hebrews 11 and 1 through 3 it says, Now faith is the substance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for. For being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their realities, faith proceeding as real facts what is not revealed to the senses or the natural eye. For by faith, trust, and holy fervor, born of faith, the men of old had divine testimonies born to them and obtained a good report. By faith, we all as believers, we understand that the worlds during the succession ages were framed in fashion, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of Elohim God. So that we who do see was what we do see were not made out of things which are visible. There's an old saying that God majors in the ex nihilo. He didn't come from anywhere and he doesn't have anywhere to go. Hebrews 12, 1 and 3 said, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, we are born testimony to the truth of Elohim God creating subsailers. Let us all strip off and throw aside every encompassing, unnecessary weight and that, it, and, and that sin which so readily uh, defile and cleverly try to cleanse to us and entangle us. Let us run with patience, endurance, and steadfastness and active persistency and consistency the appointed course of the race that is set before us according to the enlightenment and the power of Elohim God as he has designed and equipped mankind to occupy this planet called Earth. Looking away from all that with distract to Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith, he is our great shepherd. He is the leader. He is the source of our faith. He, amen. He is the one that set an example for all of us. He is the one who perfects us on the inside who for the joy of obtaining the prize that was set before him endured the cross, despising and ignoring the shame and, 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 not, and now sit it at the right hand of the throne of Elohim God. Warriors, just think of him who endured from sinners such grievous opposition and bitter hostility against himself, all kinds of ungodly conversation, all kinds of trials and tribulation, all kinds of encounters that was belittling him but yet he ran the course set before him that being the great pioneer to run that we can run the race that we are set before us so we want to just share those scriptures with you but then we'll share a couple of words of thoughts and then we'll hopefully you have an appetite that is whetted by the word of God that you will be able to have the strength and the power and the endurance, amen, to pursue God and partake of him, to meditate on his word day and night, amen. The wise preacher said in Proverbs 3, he said, lead not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, he will direct your path. So trust in the Lord with all of your heart and all of your might. So we want to move forward with just a couple of thoughts and then we are done. Uh, we are blessed, amen, to uh, blessing to all those on uh, the sound of my voices as we say earlier. Thank you for praying for all of our families and loved ones and humanity. Be blessed in your journey into 2024. But I want to share with you that we have uh, a, a battle in the earth, a battle that is uh, rearranged in the, 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 the faith that God has presented to us and the faith that we should govern our lives by and the faith that we all should walk in and the faithfulness of who God is. Amen. So I want to just share a couple of thoughts here. Therefore, Christian warriors, may our hearts, minds, and soul be anchored, focused, and grounded and rooted in the government of Elohim God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, that because his word is pure and perfect, believe in him with all of your heart. 
that we might understand and have faith in, in the economics of God and the budget of who he is because the earth is his and the fullness thereof. Don't let the news medias and all of the um, so-called natural uh, economics people, amen, cause you to be disturbed, uh, out of shape, uh, uh, worrying, um, uh, in disarray because we look at what is going on as far as the natural prices of things. But remember that God paid a debt, a price beyond our, our thinking, our comprehension on a hill called Calvary that we might walk in victory. So don't let the conversation worry you because if God can take just son Jesus, plant him on earth through a virgin Mary, and let him take fish and bread and multiply it and many ate and, was, and there was some left over. He can take your little bit and your faith and make ways out of no ways that you will be a testimony for him. Therefore, Christian warrior, we are dressed in the Holy Spirit's enlightenment, empowerment, enrichment, amen, encouragement, enhancement, and equipped to run this race that no matter how dark times get, we become holy light running through the issues that we are facing and the challenges that comes before mankind that somebody might see the way as they occupy time on planet called Earth. Therefore, Christian warriors, we walk, live life by and with heavenly holy Christ-like faith and not by sight. Therefore, Christian warriors, we run this Christian race with holy faith, humbly embracing the word of God, humbly embracing grace and mercy, humbly inviting the Holy Spirit into us to give us strength, humbly realizing that there's no failure in him, humbly knowing that he fulfilled all of his promises, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So run this Christian race in 2024, amen, running for him, amen. As we move forward, we want to say also, if we have the faith of a mustard seed, God can take that faith and make your problems look like nothing. You are more than a conqueror so you ought to learn to believe in your heart leave all of this other conversation alone and run for him knowing that whatever you are faced with he has already won the big victory for you now in 2024 Many people will be faced with great temptations and trials and tribulations. Many people are going to be faced with ups and downs and life storms and all of those things. But I came by to say to you today that greater in he, you is he that is in the, than he that is in the world. Amen. Many people are going to face and be dealing with temptations. Amen. We have a great illustration. We have a great testimony from our elder brother named Jesus. Amen. He was tempted. Amen after he was filled with the Holy Spirit and went into a wilderness situation to let you and I know that no matter what the wilderness looked like in our life journey, amen, we can be in control because we are controlled by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Luke 4, 1 through 16 teaches us that. You can look at Matthew 4 and read about how Jesus, amen, was tempted by Satan. Somebody praise him there. Warrior, every voice that comes to you and I does not come from God. Every man mind that comes to set that comes before us is not of God. We, amen. We must live by the Holy Word and the Holy Word only. Let me say, share with you what Jesus did and encountered in temptation in Matthew Luke 4. He said, then Jesus full and controlled by the Holy Spirit refer, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Holy Spirit. For enduring 40 days in the wilderness, desert 40 mean, amen, a time of probation where he was tempted, tried and tested exceedingly by the devil and he ate nothing during those days and when they were complete he was hungry then the devil said to him many people are hungry for this and hungry for that things are dangling in front of him but look what he says here if you are the son of god he's telling us on our man's side his man's side on how we ought to walk Order the storm to what the devil said to them. Turn into a loaf of bread. And Jesus replied to him, It is written, Man should not live and be sustained by only bread alone, but by every word and every expression of God. Then the devil took him up to a high mountain. And he's showing many of our young people all this glorious stuff out there, planting these, amen, these images out there, and, and causing people to be some kind of uh, icon in their life. Look what he says here. Then the devil took him up to the high mountain. And 
and showed him all the kingdom of the inhabitants of the world in a moment of time and in the twinkle of an eye. And he said to him, to you, amen, I will give you all this power and authority and their glory, all of their magnificent excellency, amen, dignity and grace, for it has been turned over to me and I will give it to whoever I will build. Then, then if you will do homage and to serve and which you may just want, you should, it should all be yours. Everything presented to you does not come from him. Look how Jesus, amen, who is our example, replied to this with faith on his man's side. Jesus said, replied to him, get behind me, Satan. It is written, you should do homage to only worship the Lord your God and him only should you serve. Then he took him to Jerusalem and set him up on a gable of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, cast yourself down from here. Many times people, amen, challenges us. If, we are, if you are a Christian, why are you going through this and why are you dealing with this? But I encourage all of us by faith that God has set the pattern, the blueprint. He has set the path. He has set the victory. He has set the straight and narrow way. The glorious peace you can have, the best lifestyle you can live is to live one according to the word of God. Everything belong, pre presented to you and I, amen, is not of God. We have to have the discernment of the Holy Spirit in us, amen, to know when it comes from God and it didn't, don't, doesn't come from God. Many of our young people and generation and some, some of our elder people are trapped in every presentation that comes. They think it comes from God because it looks good, it smells good, it, 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 amen, it satisfies, amen, certain types of things in my lives. But Jesus said in reply to him, Get behind me, said it is written, you should do no homage. We just told you he took him to Jerusalem. And for he said, For it is written, he will give his angel charge over you. Amen. God got me, he can take care of me. He died from my sin. Grace and mercy woke me up this morning. Amen. Hey, I can live my life like I want to live it. We got all of this in this little pieces of scriptures right here that we need to meditate on, rightly divide and study so our faith can be enhanced to know that God is the only one. Somebody ought to shout wherever you are in your home amen that God already amen can give you discernment and give you a shepherd named Jesus who can lead you against all of the onslaught and the false enlightenment the false conversation the false Christianity amen that is being presented to people when you get saved warriors faith says I am saved faith said I can make, meet my challenge if faith said the kingdom of God has come into me faith said the kingdom of God is not has no darkness in it faith said I am more than a conqueror. I am greater than that. Faith said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and walk by faith and not by sight. Am I talking to anybody wherever you are? And when the devil had ended all and completed all of his cycles against Christ, he departed from him. And we need to empower each other and bring glory to God by empowering families and empowering young people and empowering the generation behind us that greater is God's word in us. And they, if they partake of God's word, it will bring enlightenment to them. It will bring encouragement to them. Amen. It will bring power to them. It will bring all of the resources to deal with the bullying that comes from the dark side of life. The bullying that comes from people that is not of God. The bullying it will cause you and I amen to have a great enlightenment. There is but one Lord, one faith and one baptism. There is but one holy bride. There is but one Savior and his name is Jesus. Let me move on. Amen. Faith teach me how to pray. Amen. 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 We got all these crazy prayer ideologies, uh, but I encourage you, warriors, by faith, pray the scripture. Even if it convicts you, it's working for your better man. I encourage you, amen, to pray like Jesus taught his disciples. He said, pray for like this. Our Father, which is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily prayer. And if you don't know how to pray any kind of other way, just get your holy body. Amen. And pray the scripture consistently. Pray the word of God consistently. If you need a guide in your life, pray Psalm 23. If you by faith, if you need light in your life, hey, hey, pray, amen, Psalm 27. If you need a foundation in your life, pray, amen, the foundational scripture. Search the Bible and find the foundational scripture. If you need a shelter, amen, pray Psalms, amen, uh, uh, Psalm 23 and John 10. If you need 
see a great battle actually in your life, search the scripture, know that God can fight off the things that is trying to entangle your mind and cause you to shame God in your morals, in your family lives, and how you rear your children. Somebody ought to praise him right there. We got all kinds of conversations, y'all, telling us how to rear our children, how to be fathers, and how to be mothers, and how to dress our children, that everybody is sinning, everybody going to heaven. All of that stuff is not of God. Somebody praise God. God was here before we got here by faith when he said, train up a child and where the child should go. That's how we, amen, rear our children. If the man is in the house, hey, he, by faith, we walk with God according to his word, dressing our families, amen, in priesthood and stuff. Somebody praise him right there. And you feel like you don't have the resources in you. I encourage you by faith to pray Psalm, amen, John 15, amen, and connect to him as the true vine. Somebody praise him right there. And the father is the vine dresser. If we did the litany earlier, if you want somebody to dress you for your journey, amen, ask God to dress you. Pray these scriptures with your children by faith. Walk with him. Amen. And I got to get out of here. I'm not going to be long. My closing remarks are pray the scripture by faith and believe in your heart with mustard seed faith that God will take care of you and bring you through every trial, every tribulation. Don't worry about whether you can see or not. Faith does not, amen, operate on what they can not see or can see. But faith operate on the truthfulness of who God is. The faithfulness of who God is. The promises of God is. And know that he is not a man that he can lie. And he will take care of you. Somebody ought to praise him right there. And your greatest toast going into 2023. Toast your body. Amen. As a living sacrifice. Holy unto God. Knowing that he will take care of you. Quit worrying about. Amen. Who is most popular. Who got the most ministry. If you ain't got but two serve God. Amen. With diligently. If you ain't got but ten serve God. Jesus had twelve and one was the devil. Don't sell your soul out to popularity. Don't sell your soul out to, amen, false concept about true Christian salvation. As I close this sermon out, if Jesus taught in John 3, amen, on how we must get into glory and have the kingdom of God in us, pray that scripture, believe that scripture, and walk that scripture by faith, because he died on the hill called Calvary, but early he got it with all power, and all of these other religious people, amen, who said a religion, their bones are still in the grave, so trust Jesus, amen, somebody, give God praise and be blessed, and we'll be praying for you in 2024. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. Just some nuggets to encourage you. Amen. That our God, amen, is faithful that we become, amen, connected to him. The sources in him will migrate into us and cause us to come back to his image and not be practical sons and daughters. In Jesus' name, we preach this sermon. Amen. Just want to say to everyone that's listening that you would have a blessed 2024 but keep your eyes on the prize keep your eyes on him that raised us up and is keeping us day by day put your faith and your trust in jesus the savior amen we want to say happy and blessed new years to everyone may your journey to 2024 be awesome knowing that jesus is already a pilgrim he's alpha and omega he's already in 2024 waiting on us and not only he's only in 2024 in time but he's in 2020 amen eternity waiting on us so run your race deal with your challenge and the power of who he is don't be amen afraid of what comes against you because he's already won that battle we didn't get off into all of that we had for you because of time restraints but know that every challenge you have he's already put it on his feet amen everything you encounter he whooped it on cavalry amen know that he will take care of you we go back to great things that happened in time where people had a little bit but god made it a big bit so whatever you got put in his hand you put your life in his hand your family's in his hand and trust him and have a blessed happy new year as part of our journey to 24 amen would be great and uh, deep in a uh, greater in-depthness in prayer not just for ourselves and our families but for humanity and for all of the different places on this planet called earth that people will be equipped to serve God in Jesus name amen be blessed may you all have a blessed and prosperous new year we thank God for uh, bringing us into the new um, a year that we've never seen before but we just believe God and trust God that it'll be an awesome year that will be better, stronger, and more positioned um, to be used and equipped by God. And um, we just bless God for you, and we pray that God continues to cover and keep you. Amen. 
Amen. I just want to say, uh, have a blessed and happy new year, happy 2024, and just encourage everybody to trust God in every uh, step of the way in your journey in life. Uh, we don't know what the future holds, but we know that God holds the future. Amen. I would like to say happy, thank, th happy New Year's to everybody and happy New Year's to my church family. And God bless you. And coming into 2024, may all of us be prosperous and have a blessed year. Thank you. I just want to say happy new year to all my church family, all families all over the world, and to remember that God is always in control, and he promised us in his word in Romans 8, 28, he said all things shall work together for good to them that love him and that are the called according to his purpose. In Jesus' name, happy new year. I want to say happy new year um going to the new year with a better heart um, a better speech in life and going to 2024 um knowing god and getting to know god and prospering throughout life and yeah happy new year Uh, I want to say Happy New Year in, um, for 2024. Um, it should be a goal to build a better relationship with God. And Happy New Year. All right. Amen. We give thanks to Almighty God again for this new year coming in, 2024. We stand here with candles lit, amen, in regards to the holy light that many have uh, reflected in their journey through planet called Earth as they have made their journey in pilgrimage to the new heaven. And we are here holding light because we are light holders still occupying planet called Earth in the name of Jesus that we might be able to walk in the light eternally in heaven. So we want to honor all of those who was part of this congregation and part of the body of Christ who have gone on into eternity. Those who are still carrying the light of who he is in their heart, minds, and soul as we continue to occupy earth in times like these. We are so grateful and so honored to be a part of his program and we refuse to hide our life, life living under the shed of all kinds of sin, conversation, behavior, and all of that. We prefer to reflect our lives by shining the light of God in all that we say and do in the marketplace, wherever we go. Even in the midst of storms and trials and tribulation, we are light carriers. We are great ambassadors for him because he's so mighty and light is, is, a, is, is so uh, awesome. It stimulates our hearts to reflect him even more and illuminate our pathway and light also conquer darkness within and without. Light is a beautiful, beautiful part of our life. So we're so grateful and honored that Jesus is our primary example. We're connected to him. The Father is a vine dresser, the light dresser. We thank him for that. We thank him for also for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, Holy Word, and present in us that our fuel will never run dry because we have the oil of gladness, the oil of the Holy Spirit in us to sustain. And sometime in life, God will trim our wick so we can shine brighter for him. So we are grateful for that. In Jesus' name, we pray and thank you. Be blessed on this 2024 year coming. Make your mind to be a light carrier, a light reflector, and a person of light, eternal holy light, to show the world that greater is the light in us than whatever that goes on in the earth, and regardless of what the politicals or, or the uh, prophetic stuff are being revealed and, and carried on. In Jesus' name, we are so grateful and thank you. We love you today from First Samuel Church Holistic Ministry, serving God as light reflectors here in the city of Indianapolis, in the part of Indianapolis called Hallville.
but yet at the same time we're positioned in heavenly places amen because we are part of the body of christ we are part of him and he's positioned in heavenly places wherever he's positioned and it's beside the right hand of the father we're in him and he's in us so as written in the book of ephesians we're positioned in heavenly faces while places while we make our journey through planet called earth in jesus name may we bless you and keep you in our cares and our prayers in jesus name amen All over me, it's in my head. 
we encourage people everywhere to biblically lay aside all the popular conversations that they're hearing and go and get the conversation that we'll hold word from Genesis to Revelation because all everything that we need for our minds, our hearts, minds, and soul is grouped in the benefits of that is in your word. Jesus is living bread. Father, we know that you are able to do it. We love you today, Father. Keep this in your, in your door that God is greater than whatever you're facing and walk by faith and not by sight. Put it all in his hand. Don't try to figure it out. We can't figure God out, but one thing he's already done is figure out who we are and what we need and he's already offered it to us. We pray this prayer in Christ's name. Be blessed. Go in peace. Know that in 2024, you got prayer warriors positioned across planet, across earth, who is praying for you 24-7. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.